Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about the fastest, easiest way to crush your income goals in any market, regardless of a pandemic or a low inventory. So in other words, instead of taking the long, slow grind up the mountain, we can just condense decades into days, bypass all the trouble and struggle of doing it the hard way and get straight to what works, the shortest path to the cash. Like we always say on this podcast, there are no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. So why bother taking the long, slow, suffering route to success when you can take the fun, fruitful, fun way to success, condense decades into days, and be able to get on the shortest path to the cash route to your income goals and to do it with more fun, flow, and fulfillment. That's what I'm talking about. So if that sounds good to you, let's dive in, shall we? The first thing I want to talk about before we get into it is what isn't the fastest, easiest way to crush your income goals as a mortgage professional. Before we get into what is, let's talk about what isn't. So what isn't the fastest, easiest way to hit your income goals is cold calling realtors every freaking Monday. That's definitely not the fastest, easiest route. That's called doing it the hard way. That's caveman methods from the dark ages. It's the 21st freaking century, friends. Let's not do caveman marketing from the dark ages. That might have worked 20 years ago. It doesn't work very well. well easy for me to say. It doesn't work very well anymore. And if you've done it for a day or two, you know that to be true. It's like banging your head against the wall, spinning your wheels, throwing yogurt at the fan, hoping something sticks, chasing realtors without a value proposition, without a compelling, unique value proposition, just positions you as an annoying pest, not a welcome guest. It positions you as an average Joe L.O. Now, if you throw a little yogurt to the fan, eventually something's going to stick, but that doesn't mean that's the shortest path to the cash. That just means that the law of large numbers are going to work in your favor, even if you're doing it the hard way. But again, we're not a proponent of doing it the hard way, hard way here on Planet Prosper. We're a proponent of doing it the smart way. And there isn't necessarily an easy way because, I mean, if it was easy to be rich, fit, and happy, everyone would be fit, rich, and happy. So obviously it ain't easy. Most people are fat, broke, and unhappy. Why is that? Because it's not easy. You still have to swim upstream against the current of average, against you know all of the proclivity to procrastination, stinking thinking, rationalization, which is basically rationing lies to your mind. And there's lots of muck and mire that keeps you in mediocrity if you let it. So there's lots of different ways to skin the cat when it comes to growing your business, but there's only one shortest path to the cash. And that's what we're all about here on Planet Prosper is just take that one shortest path to the cash. So it's not cold calling realtors every Monday. We know that for certain. It's not visiting open houses and schmoozing with realtors just because they have an open house, although that may be fruitful to some extent. It's not doing networking events and going to a bunch of networking events uh, multiple times a week to try and schmooze with different people, although you may get some fruit from that also. It's not getting a bunch of crap leads off the internet, although if you're really good at the follow-up, you may convert one or two or three out of 100, which is basically sifting through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. That's definitely doing it the hard way. So it's not that. It's not buying a bunch of crap leads like Zillow or any other kind of internet leads. It's not that either because again, you're sifting through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. That's a significant waste of time, energy, and money in comparison to having hot for what you got, pre-sold, pre-tenderized, predisposed to do business with, business with you, referrals who are endorsed to you as the go-to mortgage pro. That's always going to be much more fruitful, much more fun, and you're less likely to have tire kickers, looky-loos, rate shoppers, and people wasting your time kicking your tires. So those are just a few. Now, here's a few more. What's not the fastest, easiest path to the cash is doing five social media posts a day 
to a bunch of people who don't even comment or don't even like or don't even share and couldn't care less about your posts. And it gives you a sense of activity, but there's a big difference between activity and productivity, you may have noticed. So we don't care how much splashing around in the ocean you're doing. If you're not moving in the right direction towards Prosperity Island, you're doing it the hard way. Just splashing is not going to get you to the outcome. We've got to get you moving in the right direction with power. So that kind of activity where you're doing activities because everyone else says to do it, whether it be social media posts three, four, five times a day, or whether it be blog posting once a week or all these things that other people do, oftentimes the reason we do it in the mortgage business is because other people are doing it, not because it's got a measurable impressive return on investment, but because, well, everyone else is posting, so I need to post. Everyone else is doing this, so I need to do this. Well, guess what? Everyone else is freaking broke. So if you're following the herd, doing what everyone else is doing, don't be surprised if you're broke too, because the herd is mediocre, mediocrity at best. The herd is dying either broke or being in a position where they're absolutely in debt or being in a position where their friends or family have to you know, provide for them in their older years because they can't provide for themselves because they were following the herd instead of charting their own path to prosperity. So it's really important, guys, that if you want to be the top dog in your industry, if you want to make top producer income, upper echelon income, that you don't follow the herd. You got to be zigging while everyone else is zagging because the herd is mediocre and is settling for a second best life in I can't afford it prison. And unfortunately, these are well-intended, beautiful people that have all the best of intentions when they get in this business. But 80% of people who get in this business get chewed up and spat out in the first two years. And the average income in this business for those who manage to survive is only 75K. 75K friends, and that's before tax, not after tax. Something tells me you guys did not get in this business to make 75K gross, 60K net or 55K net. You know, that's, I can't afford it prison. So we've got to be willing to chart our own course and do things most people don't do so we can get the results that most people are not gonna get. And unfortunately, we've got so-called experts in this industry coaches in this industry who will tell you that these are the ways to grow your business. Call realtors every Monday, you know, do the social media posts. And there's nothing wrong with this stuff, you know, getting leads off the internet, nothing necessarily wrong with it. But if you're doing it to the neglect of the shortest path to the cash, then there is something wrong with it. Why? Because it gets you stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. That's not really intelligent, right? If you're skipping over dollars to pick up dimes, don't be surprised if you're leaving a shit ton of money on the table to your competitors. Because again, that's doing it the hard way. We want you picking up the dollars first with mastering the basics first, take the shortest path to the cash first, and then move on to the exotics. The exotics, frankly, are not nearly as profitable. They're not nearly as potently profitable when it comes to the time, energy, and money you put in and the return on your time. Are they worth doing? They may be worth doing down the line, but if you haven't mastered the basics, there's no point in getting into the exotics any more than you stepping over the dollars to pick up dimes. That makes no logical sense whatsoever, right? So that's what is not the fastest, easiest way to crush your income goals. Let's talk about what is the fastest, easiest way to get to your income goals, shall we? Let's just cut right to the chase. The shortest path to the cash, friends, is and always will be attracting meaningful, rewarding, mutually beneficial partnerships with top producing real estate agents who make you their exclusive lender. But Doran, I don't like realtors. They're annoying. They're flaky. They're apathetic. They're arrogant. They're prima donnas. You know, I don't like working with them. They got their issues. I find it's easier just to do my own business, to just work my own book of business. And if that's the case, that's cool. Do whatever you want to do. You're the captain of your own ship. If you happen to have a big ass database where you've got 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 past clients, 
then you can get away with just mining the gold from your database because you've been in the business for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And you can do very well making half a million to a million a year just from your own database if you know how to mine it properly. But most people are not in that position. Most people don't have the luxury of saying, hey, I don't want to work with realtors. I just want to work my own book of business because they haven't been in business long enough or they haven't done enough transactions to be able to have a solid portfolio to be able to extract a significant amount of business from. On the flip side, you may be in a position where you're getting a good amount of business from your book of business, but you want to take it to the next level. Maybe you're doing 50 million a year in volume. You want to take it to 100 million. It's going to be difficult for you to get to 100 million a year if you're just relying on your own book of business. Chances are you're going to need to supplement that with additional lead streams. Now, as you may have noticed, not all lead streams are created equal, right? Like it doesn't matter if you have a hundred leads coming in, if they're shit leads, that's not gonna pay you very much, right? So it's not a matter of just getting a bunch of leads. We want high quality leads, easy to convert leads. We want leads that are pre-sold on you before they even talk to you. We want leads that are not gonna rate shop you, that are not looky-loos, but they're pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, hot for what you got, predisposed to work with you before they even talk to you by virtue of having the power of third party endorsement working in your favor. It's kind of like Oprah, right? On her show, she's got the book club. When she promotes a book, what happens to the sale of her book? Stratus fricking Fearic. Why is that? Because she's leveraging her reputation. And when she says jump, her constituents say how high? She's got influence with her following. Same thing goes with top producing realtors. When they endorse you to their buyers, their buyers say, okay, if you say so, I trust you. It's basically like saying jump and they say how high. They trust their expert realtor and their advice implicitly. That's why they work with that top producing agent because they trust their advice implicitly that's why they hire them. So you don't have to think about what to do. They just follow the instructions. So why bother working with the top producing agent? You might be thinking, Dorn, I don't, I don't like top producing agents. They're prima donnas. They're arrogant. I much prefer the lower producers. They're much more humble. Uh, they're much more fun. Uh, they're much more agreeable to work with. I find I have better synergy with them. And that, if that's the case, cool, work with the lower producers. But what I'm saying is if you have a kick-ass unique value proposition and if you have the attraction-based method versus the prospecting-based method, if you have a system that allows you to flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them, now you have the privilege and the opportunity, the luxury of picking and choosing who you want to work with. And one top producing realtor who sends you one, two, three deals a month is worth at least 10 low producers who send you one, two, three deals a year, right? And they can be fun if you choose them effectively and wisely. If you have a value for fun, if it's important for you to have, you know, synergy, chemistry, where they love and adore you, you love and adore them, you'd have them to your you know, barbecue in the summer or your birthday party. They're, you know, cool cats that you really jive with and you have great synergy with. If that's a high value for you, and frankly, if it's not, it should be because life is too short not to have great synergy with your partners. And I believe in the premise and the principle that you can have it exactly the way you want it if you don't settle. So why settle? Why not go for the best? And now you're in a position to pick and choose from the best of the best, the cream of the crop partners. And they're not interviewing you, you're interviewing them. So now we have a system to target the top producers doing 20 plus buyer side transactions a year. We have a system to be able to get them hot for what you got. So they're pre-sold on the idea of talking with you or meeting with you or working with you before you even call them. We have a system to be able to book appointments with these top producing agents like a hot knife through butter. So you don't have to inflict yourself with the hell of cold calling, which frankly is doing it the hard way. 
And now you've got such a robust, deep stack of awesome that you bring to these top producing agents if they qualify, if they're the right fit, if there's someone you want to bring your gift to, but you're in the power position, you hold the cookie, you're in the driver's seat. Can you imagine that? How great would that feel to be able to flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them? How awesome would that be? Something tells me that would be a game changer for you, true or not true. So now you have a system for getting them pre-sold on you or at least receptive and open to the conversation, to having a meeting. And now you know how to do the meeting because if you roll with us here on Planet Prosper, and frankly, that's a big reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us is to learn this system. If you roll with us on Planet Prosper, we give you all the battle-tested, proven plans and systems, campaigns, the words that work for all of this, from the unique value proposition to the stack of awesome that you can bring to these top producing agents to tools to sell them on these different tools and resources and value adds to the words that work that gets them hot for what you got before you even talk to them. So you don't have to cold call. You can book appointments like a hot knife through butter without cold calling to how to do the first meeting to get them stacked and jacked, delighted and excited to even have the privilege of working with you, how to uncover their pain points, their challenges, what's keeping them up at night, where their marketing engine is losing steam. And then we teach you how to absolutely blow them away with such a massive, compelling, unique stack of awesome that they're literally eating out of your hand. They're chomping at the bit to want to work with you in your exclusive VIP partnership program. Dorn, is that RESPA compliant? Hell freaking yes, it is. We've been doing this for 16 years. This is not our first rodeo. So if you're in the States and you're concerned about RESPA and compliance, we got all that buttoned down. This is the no brainer of the year when it comes to compliance. We know how to thread the needle on that. So what happens now? You've got a system for attracting, you've got a system for interviewing, you've got a system for identifying the holes in their marketing bucket. You have a system now for filling those holes, diagnose their problems first, prescribe solutions second, we have a system now to roll out a turnkey plug and play kick-ass VIP partnership program that blows these top producing agents away and gets them literally giving thanks to God for you, feeling like you are an answer of prayer to prayer, having them feel like you are the bomb freaking diggity, which you are, but they may not feel that way right now because you don't have the right positioning. You don't have the right tools. You don't have the right words that work. You don't have the right value proposition. And because you don't know what you don't know, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. And I call it the tuition of not knowing. Every day you're, pay you're paying towards the hefty tuition of the university of not knowing. Not knowing how to attract these partners. Not knowing how to build this value proposition, not knowing how to book these appointments without cold calling, not knowing how to do the appointments to get them eating out of your hand, not knowing how to be in the power position. So you're flipping the script and the dynamic and the energy of the relationship, not knowing how to be in a situation where you can turn the faucet on and off at will. When you don't know that, what happens is you live in, I can't afford a prison unnecessarily. You live in a slow grind up the mountain in stagnation prison unnecessarily. It doesn't have to be that way. So if you're listening to this right now, you're like, Dorn, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. And I definitely need me some of this, you know, stack of awesome you're talking about. I need these tools you're talking about because the way I'm doing it, frankly, it ain't working at the level I need it to. These realtors aren't giving me the time of day. I have call reluctance because I don't really have a real value proposition. So I feel kind of sheepish. I feel like I'm groveling. I'm feeling like I'm at the mercy of these realtors. I don't like that feeling. Groveling sucks. And if that's you and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of not knowing how to do this stuff and paying the hefty tuition, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to the university of not knowing, leaving all that, all that money on the table to your competitors, and you're ready to start putting your pocket where it belongs, you're ready to start working smarter versus just harder, and you're ready to 
step up your game and create a quantum leap breakthrough in your income and start earning more while working less with the best quality leads, the best quality partners, having a hell of a lot more fun, flow and fulfillment while doing it, making more money in one month, used to making two, three, four, five, six months. If that's you and you're ready to step up your game now, not someday, and you're ready to position yourself to prosper as we approach the last, we're in the last quarter of 2021 currently at the time that I record this. So you're in a position to get yourself in momentum so you can hit the ground running and get yourself in massive momentum. So you're kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum and crushing it and having 2022. If that's you, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business. We look at what's working in your business right now. What's not working? Where are you now? Where do you want to take your business? If we can help you bridge that gap, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. And if not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, though, you will leave that meeting, friends, with massive clarity, massive value, and chances are we're going to have a lot of fun as well. Unless you're not fun, then too bad for you. <laughs> but if you're as fun as I think you are, if you're going to book this call, chances are you're a fun, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage pro, then I invite you to book the call. But only book the call if you're a 100% commission mortgage professional, if you consider yourself to be fun and ambitious, if you're making at least 80 basis points or higher in your comp plan, and you're sick and tired of making small incremental improvements in your business, and you're ready to pour gasoline on the fire and go stratospheric and take your business to a whole other level, create a quantum leap breakthrough. So if that's you, go ahead and book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So we just talked about the shortest path to the cash, the fastest, easiest way to crush your income goals without messing around doing it the hard way in any market, regardless of a pandemic, regardless of your, if you're in a quarantine, regardless if you're in a low you know, inventory market, this system works in any market, regardless of where rates are, regardless of where inventory is, regardless of whether you're working from home, from, you know, a Wi-Fi connection, or you're working in a physical office space. It doesn't matter. Our system works in all those environments. And it's still the shortest path to the cash, regardless of all those challenges. That wind of resistance, that wind of trial, that wind of, you know, trials, tribulations, and challenges that we're facing by virtue of COVID and the pandemic and all that, that blows on everyone. The difference between the champions and the mediocre majority is champions find a way to turn adversity into opportunity. The mediocre majority just whine, snivel, and complain about it while champions leave them in the freaking dust. I invite you to be the champion, not the mediocre majority. So you've just been watching the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I trust you got value from this. My name is Doran Aldana coming at you from this podcast each and every week, The Art of Mortgage Marketing. You can get us on YouTube. You can subscribe. Give us a review. If you're digging this, we'd love a review. The more reviews, the more we can get our message out there. So thank you in advance. Be blessed. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.